Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to talk about on here what I talked about the video I posted on Instagram. So, about my dude. Today is just not a really good day for him. So, that makes it not really good for me because I was the one that had to find out first. And had to find a way to tell him. Which, wasn't no other way to tell him or time to tell him or right way to tell him. I just had to straight out tell him. He didn't get the good news he was hoping for. Or should I say we didn't get the good news we was hoping for because both of us is in this thing together. When the way I look at it if you're, if you're in a relationship with somebody what concerns them what's about them concerns you too because y'all, it's two people together. Especially when you're married, engaged, or whatever. Or a long-term relationship. That's just how I look at it for myself. To each his own after that. With anybody else. What's hot as hell out here, y'all? This Texas heat is just really damn ridiculous. But. So, he didn't, we didn't get the news we was hoping for. And. The part. The hell is he looking at? The thing is, what hurts me is because he did everything he could, all the hard work he could to, he put in all the hard work he could, he did everything the right way he was supposed to, to get a good outcome. And for all his hard work, most people say you put in all your hard work, it's supposed to pay off. Well... His hard work didn't pay off. It's like he did all this work for nothing. For them to still say no. So. It hurts me that he didn't get the outcome. We didn't get the outcome that we wanted. Then too, it hurt me because. He. Who in detail? Is it? I thought that was my ex. I was say, dude, what the fuck is you doing? Because he have a truck just like this one. But anyways, back to my story or whatever. I probably have to do this in two parts on the way back. But I had to be the one to tell him. And the way that I had to tell him made it even that more bad for me. Yeah, I'm busy today. Get y'all busy. But, yeah, I'm going to this console. I ain't going no further than that. It's too goddamn hot. We're going across the street. Hell, it's too hot to even be coming out the house. I'm going to the console. But, yeah. It just hurts me to have to tell him the way that I did. Have to tell him what I had to tell him. And that I can't be there for him physically. To let him know or to show him that we're going, we in this together. Even though he already know that. But I can't be there to show him that we, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. So I have to be there emotionally for him. I have to be there non-physical. And that's the part that gets me like that's the part that makes me like this sucks like I say he did everything in his power that he could do to get a good outcome all the hard work and everything. And nothing. Because, yeah, you don't want all this extra. See what they got up here. But, yeah, it just, it really hurts me to the point. 
that I can't be there. And the fact that I had to tell him that way was just, no. That made it even worse for me. But, uh, I always get from the back and not from the front. I don't want this to be too much. Hold on, I'm put this. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Now that I'm out the store, or whatever. Look, I was not gonna give me a bag. He said for me to use my purse as a bag. But anyways, y'all, I'm just like, I don't know. It's just I don't have a word for it, but it's like it sucks. That's the only thing I can think of. It sucks really bad that it's not this time. I gotta wait. Well, not I. I gotta get out of that mind frame because all the past relationships and shit, I had to be like that. So, I'm like, it sucks that we gotta go through this again. And it's like, like I said on my old post, it's like they trying to drag this shit out as long as they possibly can until they absolutely can't do nothing else but to give the green light and the go ahead. Why can't y'all just trust the fact as the kind of person he is? Nobody that I personally know and have met is the same person they once was five, six, seven, eight years ago. Hell, not even yesterday. Not even a week ago. So, yeah, this just, this shit is just ridiculous. Like, how is somebody supposed to be a better person? Or even to show you that they changed or that they not who they was 30 years ago. And that's just hypothetically speaking. Going out a random number. When you want to give them the chance to prove or to show you the difference or show you how they changed. And if you don't give somebody the chance to show you the change in everything that they made, then you just gonna forever think that they still the same person they always was five, six, seven years ago. And that's not fair. I don't know what other way to put it or how to phrase it, but it's not. And I know people say, well, life ain't fair. Yeah, that's true. Life ain't fair. But, I mean, you could still give. I just noticed they had the same little sticker right there. Probably the same household with 50 stickers but all I'm just all we just asking for is just to give him a chance just give him a chance to prove that he's not the same person that's all that's all but they don't want to do that they're just still judging the book based on the cover from 30 years ago Based on the cover from 10 years ago. Based on the cover. They're still judging the book based on the cover from five days ago. Five weeks ago. Five months ago. Five years ago. You can't do that. Even album covers change with every album. Release or whatever. Even people's ID change within every year that they take a new one. People's cars might not change. But everything changes over the years look what happened between 2019 and now things changed drastically and dramatically but yeah I'm going to end this right here y'all just say a prayer for us and 
keep us in your thoughts and prayers and we always will and always do and we'll continue to do the same. I'm hot. I'm going to go in this house and chill. Bye, y'all.